So the very last taste test of the day, this is our uh, almond extract, page 137 of uh, The Art of Extract Making. We started this one in May. Almond extract is made with bitter apricot kernels. The trick that everyone says, what? And you'll have to watch other videos and read our book and it explains why. So it's time they've been sitting. It's time to taste test our almond extract. This was started. Almond is like the most controversial of all the extracts because people are like, wait a minute, you're making it with bitter apricot kernels? Why do we even call it almond? Why isn't it called bitter apricot kernel extract? Was one of the questions that was asked. They're like, what, what's the deal? You're calling, everybody calls this almond extract, but you make it with bitter apricot kernels. So why isn't it called apricot extract? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. We don't know. I think there, if I'm speculating here, but uh, bitter apricot kernels taste the way we all believe almonds should taste. And yes. isn't that just like us? Yes. We're like, hey, we don't like how you taste almond, but we like saying almond. So we're going to use something totally different. We're just going to call it you. <laughs> That's the reason. I really, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, right? Because almonds don't taste like almonds. So I guess we know better than Mother Nature. We're saying Mother Nature got this one wrong. We like saying almonds because almonds are popular, I guess. But this is how you make almond extract. And the taste is what you would expect almonds to taste like. That's yes, the point. I mean, no. that's why we do it. This is it tastes like what you would expect almonds to taste like. Well, and the great thing about um, doing this almond apricot bitter uh, extract is that you can do it any time of year. You're not up against um, time with the with the fruit, right? Um, you, you can do it any time of year. And there is some controversy on, you know, how many change outs do you think is best? Um, I've heard people doing like five change outs because they want it strong. <laughs> so um, you're going to have to figure out what's your sweet spot. Um, we think that after this uh, round, it's going to be delicious. Uh, Jeanette Ainsworth actually gave what is, the, I believe, to be the correct answer. And it's a very simple that you can't get the bitter almonds in the U.S. to make almond extract. And so we go to the apricot kernels for that reason. And they are very similar. And so I, there are, and we've made almond extract with real almonds. I mean, we, we tried it. We did real almonds and made an almond extract. And it's it's just a little sour, right? It just wasn't like what yeah, you- It just didn't taste like- yeah, it was a little yeah, sour. Was... Sour is the only term because you need, um, it looks like the the uh, bitter almonds is what Jeanette is saying. And so, um, but uh, her she's elaborating and any stone fruit will have similar flavors. Yeah. And so, so that's the point. Um, so there's some science. I'm going to research it a little bit. We'll put it up on the website because I've never like uh, explored that. So Jeanette, thank you um, for that insight. Uh, I think that you're probably... Uh, right on. So uh, we'll post some information on the website and dig a little deeper on uh, on the story behind almond extract in America and bitter apricot kernels. And if you've made the almond extract, what's your favorite change out? Do you want to do five change outs? Um, how, how do you even describe this? I mean, uh, the level of sweetness and that aroma is um, just overwhelmingly mm -hmm. concentrated thinking amaretto yeah yeah no so that's thinking, that's exactly it it's like an amaretto like it's a it's an entirely different form of sweetness because there's a little there's like the ice cream yeah there's a tanginess to it like the aroma is kind of a sweet tang which is really fun oh cheers <laughs> To almonds not being almonds yeah <laughs> finding out where almonds are almonds and making sure in the future almonds get their rightful place in extract making history as being almonds mm -hmm. i haven't even sipped it yet wow nose it breathe in through your mouth as you're nosing <laughs> the full amount okay oh wow yeah, it's um, so it, you know, a lot. It, there's almost like it's like spicy. It's not vanilla at all. It's kind of a spicy, tangy, zippy um, sweetness that is like nothing else, isn't it? Just wonderful. Yeah, and I would say there's a little bit of bitterness to it, um, but you know, we haven't added any sugar, as if you are when you're baking and whatever you're going to put it in. in you're probably going to have some sort of sugar in it, but yeah. I would say there, there. When you taste this, you're gonna there is going to be a little bit of bitterness, 
Um, but we're keeping the vanilla in here. And so the vanilla will get just stronger over time. This, you know, this has only been in here since um, May. No, I just, I disagree. All inside, I think that you're ready to go. I'm not getting any bitterness. You're not? No, but I am not by nature very bitter. I am, I'm quite sweet. <laughs> and that could be the reason. <laughs> no, <is> no. <laughs> no, but seriously, all joking aside, I'm really not getting any, um, I'm not getting any bitterness. Okay. I'm just getting like a, a zippy, tangy um, sweetness, um, maybe tart, but not bitter. That I wouldn't describe it that way. I think it's super sweet. I'm not picking it up, but this is what's so fun about taste tests. And you'll do this with your friends. Every palate is different. We all taste and experience things in an entirely different way, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but I'm not getting the bitterness in this one. I'm just getting like a a, a tangy, like zingy sort of sweetness that yeah. really is very fun. Well, it's definitely ready to try in your recipes, um, but it would only get better leaving the vanilla in there and it will only get better as you're using it um, for your recipes. Nancy just said, okay, you two, time to quit taste testing. It's getting to you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we have it for the record, Nancy. These are both in my glasses and they I barely just had a sip. So, you know. Mine are empty. <laughs> <laughs>